uh, give more specific example. What exactly is the training about? Is it home based or do you have to go to the school? Um, and the second question is, what is the minimum age to start? And does the program, is it the same across all age groups? I'm not sure I heard all the questions, but one part of the same is you have to go all day long. No. <laughs> Normally we train a child over five hours over a week, and it's usually like an hour, an hour and a half per time. This is so intense, this is so demanding, the child will be bushed after an hour to an hour and a half. It's like doing physical exercises for one whole hour. You're pretty tired. And instead of the muscles, it's the brain that gets tired. And so we have to rest after that point. But a lot has been gained during that time, too. Doctor, let me just rephrase the question, but just get it right. Uh, what does your training involve? Is that right? What does the training involve? And number two, at what minimum age does training start? You know, you want to demonstrate a little procedure? Come on up here, Tanya. Uh, can we move to uh, another slide? Up or down? I got the color uh, arrows, I think, here. Or I got black one. Just start to demonstrate this, Tanya. Come on up. <laughs> Always be prepared, right? <laughs> Just demonstrate this. Uh, take somebody. So, uh, BrainRx has, uh, I think, 20, 25 different procedures that we do depending upon where we need to work. And uh, when, we, when we develop our session for the student, uh, we always are emphasizing their weakest areas. So our goal is to work on the weakest areas. This procedure here would work on attention skills. So I need a student. Here. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So we're going to say that this is a metronome. Okay. And I want you to say the word on beat. So it would be black, red, green, yellow, blue, blue, green, yellow, black, black. Are you ready? Okay. Ready? No, I'll, I'll be your man. I'll be your man. Ready? Go. Black, red, green, yellow, blue, blue, green, yellow, black, black, red, black, <coughs> red, black, green, Good. red. So I'm going to have you do the same thing, but this time I'm going to say numbers to you. And at the end, I want you to give me the sum of those numbers. So you'll say yellow, blue, and then you'll give me the sum. We'll add the numbers together. So if I said one and six, you would say yellow, blue, seven, and then you go on to the next row. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some numbers. You start okay. over again. Uh -huh. You ready? Go ahead. So I just read through? You're just going to read through. Go ahead. Black, red, two, yellow, seven. Blue, blue. So you say blue, nine, blue, green. Yellow. Also, I can say the You have to sum it. You ready? Okay. We'll start again. We're going to go just a little slower. Ready? Go. Black, three, red, four. Three, green, four, yellow, blue, blue. So, okay, so you give me the sum here and say okay. seven. Okay? Let me try something different. So, um, now instead of reading the words, I want you to read the color of the words. Okay? You ready? Yeah. So it'd be red, black, green, or red, black, blue, yellow, green. Ready? Go. Red, black, Blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, black, green, red, green. <laughs> blue, red, red, black, black yellow, black, black, good. Okay, yellow. so let me, um, so the level, you could go to a higher level, right? So let's do a color, word, color, word, color, word, color, word. So it be red, red, blue, yellow, green, Yellow. Are you ready? So color, word, color, word, color, word. Ready, go. Red, red, blue, yellow, blue, blue, green, black, black, red. I think you're on just a little bit. Okay, and so what we do with the student is we try different levels. We find out where they struggle, and then that's where we work. You see how tough and difficult that can get real quickly? And can you see how that would improve attention? 